All right, so we're back with another one. Um, so I just I just want to start by saying um, I have no loyalty to any YouTube channel, um, anything like in TV in general. I look at YouTube as TV in general. Uh, I don't have any loyalty unless you're paying my bills. I really don't care. You know, if I don't like you, I won't watch. If I halfway kind of can't stand you, but, you know, you be putting out some good content. I'll watch, but maybe don't like. I won't subscribe, you know, kind of thing. Just normal, like, you know. And if I like you, of course, I'll just, you know, keep an eye out. I'll check in whenever I'm on YouTube, see if you post anything, you know. Law and Crime, I know, has been getting a bad rap lately because they've been doing some stuff, I guess, to other creators. I know they've been, like, flagging. Uh, I don't know if they've been... I, I don't know. I don't know. But they've been getting a bad rap. I've been hearing a lot about Law and Crime. I just say all that to say, uh, I don't give a damn if it's Law and Crime, Crime and Law. I don't give a damn if it's the judge himself uh, running his own podcast from the court. I'm just watching because I'm nosy and I wanted to know what had happened. I just wanted to say that. I ain't nobody uh, on here on these YouTube streets. But I just like to put that out there because I've been hearing so much stuff about law and crime. Um, and they should be shamed. Stop that. Stop that. We all got to watch this and we all got to use these feeds. I don't know. It's just crazy to me. But I'm still tuning in because <laughs> I wanted to watch this case. Um, I did not know about this one before, but like I said, I read the little synopsis they had in their description and um, watched a day of trial um, of witnesses. Um, and yeah, I so said, let me go ahead and see what I can, uh, how long I'll stick around. So I just finished day number two. The adoptive mom was on the stand. I hope she's done. I hope she's done. Um. After seeing her testimony, I'm even more concerned. I'm even more concerned. Um, this is why I wouldn't want to put a child up for adoption ever. I don't want to have any more kids ever, 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 ever. Um, but I damn sure would not want to get pregnant and give no child up for adoption. Because, Lord Jesus, you could really be setting a child up for disaster. Like, a child would ruin my life, but I ain't trying to ruin no child life, if that makes sense. Uh, it would ruin my life to have a child. But, Lord Jesus giving your child to the wrong person oh boy and you never can tell you never can tell um but yeah like i said after seeing this lady i am concerned i'm concerned okay let's jump into it i didn't talk enough i apologize all right so this is biological mother on trial for allegedly murdering 16 year old girl 16 years old she was 16 oh, okay 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 A Missouri woman is on trial for allegedly murdering her biological daughter. Opening statements in the murder case against Rebecca Rudd, 39, is scheduled to begin Monday, June 27, at about 8.30 a.m. CT, 9.30 a.m. You can watch in the player above. Daughter, Savannah Lecky, 16, grew up in Minnesota with her adoptive parents, but moved in with Rudd at the woman's 81-acre farm property. Can I just confirm that that's a 81 acres? It, it, it's to me the people who are blessed with the most things that when they find one hard thing, they can't handle it and go to the extreme. I think... I, I, I think some people are just too blessed. One person with 81 acres driving trucks and shit like that. Wait till later. She don't even do this full time. This is not even her job and shit like that. And you mean to tell me you couldn't handle a 16 year old on 81, 81 acres and you couldn't say you go to your 20 acres down there and leave me down alone? Get the fuck out of here. I apologize. I got anger issues that I apparently ain't working on. <laughs> Colleagues at the Theodosia 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 area volunteer fire department remembered her warmly as a junior firefighter but her life with her biological mother was allegedly hell Rudd abused her literally putting salt and alcohol in her wounds Officials said, according to the Springfield newsletter uh, leader, I really want to know how they knew that. Um, I, I, I'm waiting. Maybe 
It's like a journal or something like that. I don't know. Red also made Lecky roll in a pig pen and bathe in a muddy pond, officials have said. What what kind of... Who is making their child roll around in a pig pen? I'm gonna just I'm gonna just get through this, and um, I'm, I'm gonna just share a little bit of thoughts at the end because this is this is just ridiculous at this point. Lucky with uh, was special needs, diagnosed with ADHD and high functioning autism. Her adoptive mother, Tamil Lucky Montague. I'm about ninety nine percent sure I said that right. Thanks to like eighth grade English. Had to read Shakespeare. I think that's same months ago. Hey, <laughs> I apologize again. I apologize. Told the news leader later she developed behavioral issues at a teenager and was diagnosed with depression. Lecky Montague said she ain't quite say that. They had to kind of reach up there and kind of drag it up out because she looked just as confused as she fucking wanted to be but that's what the medical records have said the medical records have said all of that kind of stuff sound like to me she was a teenager uh yep yep yep. i ain't know we had to i apologize i'm waiting for this to go so that's my excuse i just didn't realize that at teenager uh hood we we could make choices as parents if you've adopted them, you could make their original parents, their birth parent, you could make them suffer with the teenagehood instead of the person who raised them. First off, let's start there. But no, let me stop. I'm going to get back to the story. We're not reading no tweets. Rudd allegedly contacted the fire department on July 18th, 2017, to put out a fire on her property. She was later arrested at a Greyhound bus station in Springfield, Missouri, after she purchased a ticket to Kansas City. She and her husband, Robert Pete Jr., who is not Savannah's biological father, were indicted for first degree murder that is okay uh yeah i'm just i'm having some internal dialogue right now <laughs> the second degree murder <laughs> abuse or neglect of a child resulting in death abandonment of a corpse and tampering with physical evidence but Pete's defense has offered his testimony against Rudd. I will say it does appear to me, in my opinion, that um, the husband, because he's already testified. I'm trying to hurry up and get this up because we're on day number three right now. I had some technical difficulties yesterday. I could not finish this. So now I'm further out than I wanted. So I've seen a lot more testimony. I was about to start today's because it's already started. But I said, let me finish first. So let me stop. The husband looks like he didn't necessarily know how bad things were um I, I i'm now comprehending that she may have been a little bit more special needs than i originally thought i literally just thought oh some adhd or add i can't remember which one they said or um you know and and they were saying high functioning but now like listening to the testimony and all that kind of stuff i'm now realizing how um, much higher up on the spectrum she may have been or or maybe uh, uh, well, it, it may have been more obvious let me say it that way not necessarily she may have been high functioning I just thought maybe you know normal normal um, but either way either way um, I, I am just confused I am confused totally that there are no charges against the adoptive mom I'm gonna start there um, I'm, I'm not saying she had to be charged with anything I'm just surprised um 
Because I didn't, I wouldn't think that something like this would be legal. I guess if the person was fit and she wasn't taken from her, but still, I, I just, I don't know. Um, I guess you can just give your child to whomever, whether they want it or not. But back to birth mom, you have no excuse. This is amazing to me that with all of the opportunities, opportunities that you had, that you were afforded at this time. You still chose to, I guess, the easy way out to you. You you saw a problem. You did not want to deal with it. You did not want to handle it, and you decided. Are you? Are you? Are you? Are you? Are you? I, I, yeah. See, I can't even finish that sentence. I'm just. Yeah. Everybody just seemed like they just yeah. You you just wanted to have an easy life. I, I'm just confused. I'm just confused. Um. I think I think all of these people out here who are celebrating the Roe versus Wade um, need to get with a couple of these kind of people, like the adopted mom who was willing to give away a child that she had been raising since birth. You know, um, you know, supposedly had this wonderful adoptive mom relationship. You know, had a child that she couldn't bear, but she was able to bear in her heart, and now she loved the child. You know, she was easily able to once she didn't have a husband anymore and things got rough and you have three kids and you know you don't have money and you you just need a break you're giving her back to you know oh, okay 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 you get okay okay and then you have somebody who was afforded the opportunity to have help for all of the lives all of the lives of four kids two boys that are with the dad I don't know let me not say all of the lives because she might have raised them a little bit but either way when she when she split from the first dad you know the kids went with him somehow some kind of way you know so those are two kids that you had that you're not taking care of i'm sure you're not paying for okay i'm not uh, alleged in my opinion you know and and then you had two more and then you had two more and 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 we don't need you know uh abortions in in the world we don't we don't need to be able to remove things that happen because sometimes we can't handle it or take care of it because the world will take care of it the world will take care of it um and and we see I'm not saying I am for or against what I am saying is I don't think anyone should have to suffer because of someone else and sometimes 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 getting pregnant causes just that thing to happen so if it can be prevented in a in a safe manner for both parties I understand the baby isn't born, but if you look at the research and all they want to say and all, if you want to go, whatever you have to believe to go with it, because it, it doesn't have anything, but whatever you have to believe, you know, I'm not saying I'm going to do it because I can't do it. I don't think I can do it. But I'll tell you one thing, the adoption would be horrible because it's going to be an open adoption and I'm going to run half the family. I ain't got no money. I can't help, but I run. ain't nobody going to be out there just abusing one of my kids, but I don't want it. I don't want it. Nope. Nope. Here you go. But wait a minute. Wait a minute. Nope. Let me see you. What you doing? Oh, no, no, no. You can't be doing that. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. All I'm saying is male birth control and vasectomies need to get more popular right now. Cause of raw. Uh, Cause of raw. Uh, uh, <laughs> some people get to have all the fun and actually do the deeds. And then some people are left to actually clean up afterwards and handle it. And, 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 and looking at it from this, this point of view, this lady did not want to have kids. Uh, whether she realized it or she was forced to realize it, she wasn't fit to keep kids, so it was removed from her. Um, somehow, some kind of way, she was forced back into that situation at a crucial point where if you have not either A, built up to this 16-year mark with experience, like raising a child from birth, or had some kind of training, or you have some kind of help, like like no 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 you can't tell me she was supposed to just be equipped because she's here because she's alive because she's a woman to handle this child now her coping skills were way off they was way fucked up because she didn't cope at all she just said you know what you know what um you know, some people might just, uh, well, no, she started with abuse. I, 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 there you go. That, that's To me, that's proof enough. I don't understand what's wrong with people. Um, Y'all need to mind your business kind of thing. You're not going to be in my bed stopping me from doing a deed. 
So you need to mind your business about what happened after the deed. You're not going to help me with the child. Like, you really got to look at the world today. How many kids are for adoption? And I see all of these couples holding signs saying, we will adopt your baby. You have proven you don't want the kids either. Why are you forcing them to be here? I'm sorry this turned into a Roe versus Wade. But this case is interesting. Bye, y'all.